I do not have a drinking problem. I have problems, so I drink. Amen. And through the years, I have a smorgasbord of funny drunk Uh, stories for you. Let's start with one of yours. All right. (laughs) Let's call this one Noble Hill. Oh, boy. Okay. So... Uh, All right. It wasn't noble when it, when you got there, but it was a noble buddy of mine left. and and I go down to the Madigan Club on Fort Lewis, and it was just a notorious underage kind of enlisted club, and it was just an insane fucking meat market. So meat market. We we go there. We're hanging out, and a couple of girls start buying us booze. Not and, a bad way to go. No, so we're, we're drinking yeah. it, and we're not saying no. And the booze kept flowing, and next thing you know, <laughs> ah, uh, I got mm-hmm. the anchor. Oh no! So uh, you know, we 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 jump in uh, my buddy's vehicle, and we drive out there on to Noble Hill, and we are messing around. At least I'm messing around with the anchor, and he's doing something with this other chick. And I'm standing there in the rain, and I really wasn't into it because I was <laughs> drunk. And mm. starting to sober up, and they, this woman wanted action. So she unsheathed the one-eyed wonder worm <laughs> and proceeded to assume the position. And went to town. Was it the open option position or no, the? I'm okay. just literally standing there outside the jeep. The all vowel opera hour. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm standing outside the jeep, going, "Oh my god! Well, okay. Well, if this, this is the way it's going to be, if she can cook." <laughs> and, and, I, and I started sobering up, and then finally I'm like, "I'm going to have to talk to this girl," and uh, just not feeling it. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I pull out and I just take off at a dead sprint. Na, 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 My na. buddy, <laughs> he doesn't know anything is going on. He just sees me run off because we're Ranger buddies. That's yeah, that's the way it works. He's like, oh shit! So he's running behind me. <laughs> and the, uh, as I'm t- I'm tearing down the hill, coming up on the the back end of Alpha Company, I can hear this woman. Hey, Hi. hey, hey! <laughs> It was like this blood curdling, like Sasquatch kind of scream with a gurgle. Frustrate. It was. It made my skin crawl. <laughs> now I'm not a member, and I was not a member of Alpha Company, but back then all Rangers had a high and tight haircut. So we literally, me and my buddy, draw. We we run in through the back door, run right up to the CQ. Can barely breathe because we just sprinted almost a half a mile, and I'm like, ah, "Gotta have fat women!" Oh, yes. and without missing a beat, he's like, "Roger that!" Opens his door, <laughs> <laughs> and me and my buddy get in there, and you hear these girls come, you know, waddling in, you know. Have you seen these arrangers? And he's just like, "Ma'am, you you can't be in here, ma'am." They ran in here. Didn't you see them? Uh, ma'am, I. You cannot be in here. This is a military barracks. I'm sorry. You need to leave. So they leave. About five minutes later, the CQ opens the door and he goes, are you going to fill me in? <laughs> what, what, what's going on? Details. Details. But he he literally didn't know what was going on. Instantaneously, he gets up, hide in here, handled it like a, a true professional. <laughs> And they, these women like wallowed off into the into the, the rain filled night, and I never saw them again. <laughs> I'm just amazed that the anchor was able to keep decent enough time with two rangers, where she she was able to maintain visual contact and know what door you ran into. Yep. I, I would assume it'd be like a. It would look like a busted biscuit can rolling down the hill trying to come after you. Oh, no, wait, oh, no, no, no. God. Yeah, she wasn't oh, that no. big, but it was definitely it was not, it was not a proud moment for the poster. <laughs> not, not a proud moment at all. It's one of my favorite stories, though. Oh. 
<laughs> oh, yeah. this is why we drink, man. This is why we drink. Uh, yeah, usually what's gets you in trouble, though, <laughs> like, like oh, yeah. thus and such. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we got all kinds of trouble. <laughs> uh, it's all kinds oh, of God, dumb I, shit that happens. I wish I had some great stories like that, but I, I really don't. Uh, you yeah. Go in the military. <laughs> I did not. I wanted to, but I'm too fat and ugly, so mm-hmm. especially fat. And then uh, we had... Uh, Face for radio, right? We had a guy named Sergeant B. We're not going to say his name because he's getting embarrassed. But uh, I swear to God, he had like one eighth of a liver. <laughs> he would like literally, uh, he just got fed up oh, like with two or three shots and he's done. Just fucking done. I know a guy like that. His name is Jerry. I, I love him. I've known him but, since I was a kid. But you give that dude a, a, a bottle of Bud Light. Yeah, done. And by the time he's done, how are you doing? Well, well, check this out. We're in Germany. I'm out with – he's not even in my team at the time, okay? I, I'm a team leader. We're in Germany. We're, we're out having a deal. And, and apparently his team left old Sergeant B alone. And like we're in the bar. There's five of us. We're the only Americans in there except for Sergeant B who's literally unconscious <laughs> at, a, at a booth. We can't leave him. <laughs> so literally, we carried him under our arm, like four of us, like a log, and carried him. <laughs> and literally, we're walking into bars, and the, and the, the bouncer is just like, what's going on here? And we grab him by his hair. Oh, he's still alive. It's all good. Okay, come on. That's <laughs> Weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> that's, exactly. that's exactly. We carried that motherfucker around for like the whole night. <laughs> and then we had mandatory formation, and this has actually happened a few times with different people. But 0-8, 100%, everyone needs to be back at the barracks, and they're gonna, they're doing you know uh, an inspection. Now, he just wants to make sure he's got 140 bodies, and uh, 140 bodies went off into the countryside, to enjoy the country and the ambiance, and the next morning, 140 people are back, and and that happened. Except old Sergeant B, we had to strap him to a bed frame, carry the whole bed frame down to formation, stood it up. And he's like the, <laughs> and our first sergeant walks up and just does this. He's like, all right, he's all right. <laughs> Take him upstairs. <laughs> He didn't wake up until like four o'clock in the afternoon. The next day. How long was he out at that point? Like eighteen hours? Well, okay, so it was eight in the morning. We got when we found him, it was midnight, and he was unconscious. Oh shit! Well, he was unconscious from one uh, sometime before midnight till four o'clock in the afternoon the next day. So it's at least eighteen hours, roughly. Yeah, literally, shit. he wakes up and he's on the bunk. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> Where am I? Like here in the barracks. You, no liver drinking motherfucker. <laughs> you almost f***ed <laughs> our entire night. <laughs> f*** you, Sergeant P. <laughs> but uh, God bless, I love that guy. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't heard uh, that one before. That was a new one. That was a good one. Yeah. Got a whole bunch of them. Uh, what do you got for us, Hamster? You, I'm sure you got a couple of good stories. I uh, just, I God, I'm just, uh, nothing compares to the pop stories. I can tell you that. <laughs> but I was, I was thinking about this one guy. And he was a ginger dude I worked with. And this is one of those where, you know, because we hear all the time, oh, the women just like all these tall guys and all this shit. Hey, okay, good. Except this guy was like five, six, maybe seven, pretty average guy. And he is a ginger dude and very, you know, good looking guy, whatever. But he would go on St. Patrick's, especially St. Patty's, St. Patty's wearing Day. a kilt. <laughs> right? He put of a course. kilt on. Hopefully he wore underwear. And- Nope. No. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. No. That's no, not how no, it works. No. <laughs> All right. I need another shot. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, yeah, me too. But uh, anyway, so he'd go. So he's out there. Wa- he's walking around with full bubble gum. Uh, he, well, sure. Okay. He, whatever. <laughs> what does that mean? He, he pull up his skirt and you get to look at all of the shrinking and expanding uh-huh. brain bubble gum uh-huh. with the hair on it. He's just hanging brain under there, man. Hanging brain. <laughs> just hanging <laughs> brain. <laughs> so, so, so tell me, brother, where do you sheath the knife? Don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> so evidently, uh, he he used to go around to the clubs and whatever on St. Patty's. And he'd be wearing their kilt, and his, all these girls would be going, oh, why are you wearing a kilt? Blah, 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 blah. You're wearing underwear? And so he'd... 
as you can imagine, he would pull it up and, and show him uh, his his big horse down there and whatever. <laughs> and, uh, nice, and, uh, Mr. Hayes. Yeah. yeah. And, and, so what's our, I think he told me a couple stories where it was like, uh, yeah, you know, go in the closet and uh, you know. Well, yeah, things happen. Several weeks of your life are just floating out there. In the I, I probably somewhere. had like six or seven weeks I, I, of my life. I don't remember. That's messed up. Yeah. The yeah. only time yeah, I got that hammered was in uh, New Orleans, 2013, the year that I met Brittany Griner, you know, the one who apparently, despite playing basketball in the off season in Russia for the past five, six years, somehow didn't know that you're not supposed to bring illegal drugs into the country, and now her wife wants us to give her our sympathy. Yeah. yeah that's not going to happen. Forget it. Forget about it. Well, I went down there, and Neil, who, who was – him and I were joined at the hip. He was the voice. I was the tech. So <laughs> we're going out, and he's like, I'm going to get f***ed up. I'm like, all right, we'll go around. I'll bring my camera with me, you know, because I had a little DSLR camera. I was just taking pictures of shit. And I'm making sure that we, he remembered the night, at the very least, because I figure I'm not going to get drunk. Mm -hmm. Well, apparently, New Orleans shot girls had a different plan for me mm -hmm. that night. I knew exactly how much I was going to have to drink. And I love those, like, those hurricane slushies. You get them, like, this f***ing big, and you can nurse one of those things for two hours just walking around Bourbon Street. Mm-hmm. Uh, she comes up to me, she's got two vials left in her little wireframe thing, and I got my change back. She's like, do you want my last two shots with your change? And I said, no thanks, honey, I'm all good. I turn to talk to Neil, and then all of a sudden I get a tap on my shoulder, I turn back, and this little blonde thing with what I'm hoping was just acne scars, but could have very well been sexual scabies on her face. God damn. Took these two f***ing vials, she had them in her mouth, she grabbed my hair on the back, wrenched my neck back and poured him down my fucking gullet and I was so fucking shocked I like <coughs> and I swallowed fucking shots I'm like what the fuck? Uh, and she's like thanks and she tucks the fucking money into her bra and shit I was like you were just English your second language you're just raped stupid bitch whatever she you're out al you're alcohol raped I was alcohol raped she takes off yep and then as the night goes on my memory gets shittier mm. All I know <laughs> is that I had that camera with me, and apparently that was going off all night. Okay. After, well, there's oh. a, a photo of me that existed at one point in time. I'm up chucking it to the trash can on Bourbon Street. <laughs> oh, and from then on, I remember stumbling back to the hotel room, oh. getting into the hotel room bathroom, and I'm like, this isn't going to be good. So I'm like, strip so down, shower, whatever, I'll try to wash out my mouth, get the taste out of it as best as I could. I had the four alarm hang over the next day. But I put uh, the memory card in the computer and it's like the end credits of the hangover. I'm like, it's like, okay, I remember them. I remember them. Who the fuck are these people? <laughs> this is the hottest bartender I've ever seen. She's she's posing, holding a bottle of Fireball. Why don't I remember this chick? I'm going through. These people are talking to me. Well, I'm in this photo. <laughs> Who did I give this camera to? What the fuck? There's like hundreds of these things. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> it was insane. That's awesome. It's like, okay, so I know the night happened, but gone. I know exactly what that's like. Like Kaiser Sose. Uh, Except try doing it. It's it's Thursday. <laughs> you, you have a four day weekend. You go to the bar, which the bar. has a little bit of a has a they used to call it the Black Angus in uh Tacoma. Black Angus? Yeah. It was a steak place, but they used to have a little bar dance floor next to it. I think Blank Angus is the one they make the shamrock shake for. Uh, I don't know. Just got dark in here? Yeah, I guess. Okay, I'm sorry. What? What? <laughs> but yeah, man. You, you, you got me knocked off. I'm, <laughs> I, I'm already, I'm already like, the needle's falling out of the groove. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. I'll get back to that one. Yeah, I'm not really, there are only a few things that have ever made me puke. I'm not a puker. I'm yeah, I'm not either. I'm more I'm of the, I'm a like, blackouter. It, well, even not, you know, all drunk stuff aside, I tend to be the person who, when he gets food poisoning, it just works its way all through my guts. Yeah. That's the worst. Mm. Because instead of, okay, mm. I'm, I'm going to have like an hour of misery worshiping the porcelain god and then I'm done. You know, it's like 12 hours to, to potentially as far as two days of misery as it works its way through all my and guts and uh, then, then you mm, you wander mm. into the bathroom with a Stephen King novel and an alibi. <laughs> 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 I like it. I is. like it. We used to do the yeah, beer bong thing in the barracks. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And then I never uh, did that. Well, we used to. We had a puke for power party. <laughs> I don't like the sound of this already. And what you <laughs> do is you you do whatever you got. You drink. You get what I mean. Whatever it's gonna take. And then you you have when you you vomit. You have to be behind the line. And then you, you measure how far the vomit was. And the person uh, who could throw up the farthest wins. What do they win? More booze. But oh, like, goody. Naturally. I, 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 I sucked at that. <laughs> I, I'm, one, I'm not a puker, so I... I but some guys <laughs> like, would like drink soapy water, slam a few beers, oh. jump up and down, and like literally like... Oh. So they start throwing up, they're like... <laughs> <laughs> Technicolor yawn. <laughs> and they have a bunch of dudes on like lawn chairs. So that's pretty good. Yeah. I, I, I will give him an eight. He didn't come <laughs> off the line, so he's good. He's not disqualified, but an eight out of ten. Oh. That's pretty good. How far did he go? All right, so far he's in the lead. Who's next? Uh, that's why I call whiskey. Let's go fight in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> did you write down the list? Yeah, I got the list. Yeah. So uh, apparently I... Went out to fight this guy, and he came out with like a bunch of his friends. Mm. And uh, already I was sound. half in the bag, mm. but you know he he couldn't hit me. <laughs> he couldn't hit me. I, I I was like, was he just more drunk than you? No, or? I mean I was doing like the drunken kung fu thing. <laughs> I like was slipping his punches. You know, it's Terrence just, Pop. I, I just totally humiliate master. this guy. And I'd even throw a punch back. You know, I remember slapping him down, spin around, you know. And then at one point, he th he throws a right hand. I come underneath it. I spin. And, like, literally, I'm touching his butt with my butt. His friends are all watching. And I go, boop. <laughs> <laughs> and he, like, stumbles back. And then finally a couple of his friends are like, all right, this is getting out of hand here. <laughs> and like, Lily's like, I'll kill that guy. Like, you're just humiliating yourself. <laughs> All right, we're out of here. He didn't even hit you one time. I mean, like I had a couple like scrapes on my face where I, you know, I got hit a little bit as you know, because like you're not you, gonna you roll it off. Yeah, you're not gonna dodge all the punches. <laughs> but it was funny. Like literally, his friends are just like, "Okay, this is getting embarrassing." Yeah, I think we're done here. <laughs> and they literally, they just, I'll kill that guy. Like, no, you're not. <laughs> we're leaving now. I thought that was pretty good. I think we need to remake Drunken Master when you in the lead role. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Oh. That's some good <laughs> One of the best Jackie Chan movies, too. What is the most booze you have had to imbibe to get yourself to be able to sleep with a ditch-dragging oh. woman? D you're talking Ugh. ditch pig. Ditch pig drinking. Ditch pigs, yes. Be ditch it, pig drinking. Be it for taking care of the big, fat, cock-blocking friend so your friend can get some, or you need her to break a dry spell. We've all been there. Be honest. Eight. Sounds familiar. <laughs> Eight drinks. I never did the fall on the anchor thing Ooh, for my nah, buddies nah. because we weren't bar guys. So no, nah, no. I I literally I there's a few times I hip hop. <sighs> Can you help me out? <laughs> you fucking owe me, you I'm bastard. Like, All right. But I'm not I'm not paying for my booze. No problem. <laughs> 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 All right. That's a fair I trade. Mean, but, but, yeah. Have you ever? Have you ever? Uh, right before, you're all got the beer goggles and you're out of your mind, and it's like, am I really gonna do this? Uh, oh yeah, the inner monologue. I have to do it all the time. Uh, There's nothing like having yeah. post nut clarity pre nut. Yeah. It sucks. Yeah. When you're in the middle <clears> of it, you're, 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 you're going into town, and all of a sudden you just get a good look at her face, and you're like, what What's am I doing? What the f <laughs> <laughs> I'm already I love here. my buddy, but I, but he, oh, God, no, no, no. I'm doing this for him, man. It's not for me. It's not for me. Oh, no. I, love I you take too. no yeah. pleasure no. in this. <laughs> yeah. Dude, about, yeah, about eight. Eight is probably the worst. If you say that out loud and then she's like, clearly, like, hey. Uh, <laughs> don't. Can we don't watch a, a movie? movie? Uh, can we do, you know, chill out for a while? It's like, no. no, no. Me now. Give me the 10. Oh, God, no. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, double bag that face. It's like, oh, Jesus uh, Christ. All right. Yeah, Amazing. we had a, uh, a situation like that happen at, uh, it was a bar called, uh, was it the Cafe Max or 
was at the Pontiac airport. Hmm. One of our soldiers got sucker punched in a fight in a parking lot. In the, and I say sucker punched is because the bouncers knew the guy he was fighting. They came out and held him. And the dude basically hit him in the face and blinded him in one eye. Oh, shit. Mm. Yeah. And um, was it the, a month later? You know, they. I guess they had thought it all boiled down or blew over. And I remember I went up there with just to ask some questions. Uh, apparently, sixty other people had the same idea. So we, I, I'm literally, I walk in there. I'm talking to these three or four bouncers. They're huge. He's, I mean, you know, they're all steroids, you know, steroid <laughs> hounds. Yeah, yeah, sure. And they're like, ah, yeah. f*** you. Yeah. yeah, it's no way. I'm, I'm like, just want the guy's name. You know, hey, get the f*** out of here. And then I hear, and I look back, and there's like 18 dudes pulling out fucking guns. <laughs> <laughs> what? And I, I literally, I look at the these two, these two white bouncers, and I go, you're fired. Don't ever come back here. They just left. And this other dude who was doing all the talking, all the, you know, being Mr. Tough Guy. Yeah. I'm like, this is what's going to happen. You're going to give me the name of somebody involved or people are going to die here tonight. <laughs> oh, shit. And he's like, oh, oh God. <laughs> and then, like, uh, you know, four to six weeks later, that place uh, tragically burned down. Mm. I'm not saying you had anything <laughs> to do with it. No, it's just coincidence. Yeah. coincidence. Totally. Yeah. Kowinky dink. I don't know what happened. I heard it was a grease fire. <laughs> Who knows? It just I happens. Know. Smoking cigarettes, you know, it's bad for you. Nah, no. Yeah, you and never then, ever drop the frozen turkey into the grease bath. Yeah, it causes bad and, Oh, and then year, I said like four or five years later, I get back from Iraq, and I'm at the Rainforest Cafe at the big mall right there. Oh yeah, yeah. And lo and behold, big bouncer, same guys working there. And I remember I'm walking in. Was he like, waiting tables or no, something? He, he was at the, you know, basically the host seating people. Oh, big, man. I mean, he was big. And I walk in and he's like, yo, I'm like table for two. And uh, my daughter, he's like, okay. And I and I look at him and I'm like, you don't remember me, do you? <laughs> he's like, no. <laughs> and yeah, I had a whole entourage of people with guns. We're going to kill you at the Cafe Max. He's like, oh, uh, okay. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get you a free beer, sir? <laughs> Yeah, his tune changed pretty quick. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you'd like to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, consider making a donation on Locals, Patreon, or Subscribestar.